Let's start with a little thought experiment. Imagine the power goes out. For good. Your phone is a brick. The internet is a memory. You're sitting in the quiet and the only thing you want to know is, what in the world is happening out there? Are the roads closed? Is there a curfew? Where's the help? Now, imagine you have a little plastic box that, with one twist of a dial, starts whispering secrets from 50, 100, even a thousand miles away. It tells you what the local authorities are actually saying, what the neighboring towns are experiencing, and maybe even what's happening across the country. This isn't magic. It's not even high tech. It's the oldest trick in the electronic book, and you can do it with a radio so cheap it's practically disposable. Today, we're not talking about fancy scanners. We're talking about the humble, forgotten AM radio and how to make it spill its secrets. First, we have to understand why AM radio is the cockroach of the communication world. It survives everything. FM signals are like laser beams. They're crisp and clear, but they travel in straight lines and get stopped by hills and the curvature of the earth. AM signals, on the other hand, are like a foghorn. They're bulky, they're noisy, but they roll. Especially at night. When the sun goes down, a layer of the atmosphere called the ionosphere changes and starts acting like a mirror for AM radio waves. A station you can barely hear during the day can suddenly come in crystal clear from another state. This is called sky wave propagation, or as the old timers call it, DXing. Your mission is to become a nighttime DXer. All right, quick riddle to get your gears turning. I am full of voices, but I have no mouth. I travel over hills without legs. I am clearest when the world is darkest. What am I? If you're thinking an AM radio signal, you're already tuned to the right frequency. We'll confirm after the break. Just kidding, there's no break. We keep rolling. So, you need a radio. Not a fancy one. The simpler, the better. In fact, the kind with a big analog tuning dial is often more sensitive than a digital one because it doesn't have a computer inside that creates electronic noise. The goal is to hear whispers, not just shouts. Now, here's the first hack, and it costs nothing. Get a long piece of wire, any wire, an old extension cord, speaker wire, even unraveled Christmas lights. Attach one end to the radio's telescoping antenna, just wrap it around. Now run that wire out a window, up a tree, along a fence, as high and as long as you can. You have just built a long wire antenna, and you've increased your radio's hearing ability by about a thousand percent. You're no longer just listening, you're eavesdropping on the continent. Now the scan, this is where it gets fun. Wait until an hour after sunset. Turn off everything in your house that uses electricity. I mean everything. Unplug it. Those LED bulbs, phone chargers, and power supplies are screaming electronic garbage all over the AM band. The silence you'll hear when you unplug it all is eerie. Then with your radio and your long wire, slowly, and I mean slowly, turn the dial from the bottom to the top. Don't stop on the strong local stations. Listen for the ghosts, the faint voices, the snippets of music, the far-off preachers selling salvation at 1 a.m. Stop on anything faint. Write down the frequency. That's a station from another city, maybe another state, telling you what their weather is, what their news is. In a crisis, this is intelligence gold. You're getting ground truth from multiple sources, unfiltered by your local situation. But where do you listen for? Okay, here's the juicy part. Every country has specific frequencies for essential services. In the U.S., the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration broadcasts continuous weather info on 162.400, 162 162.425, 162.475, 162.425, 162.525, and 162.550 megahertz. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's FM. You're right. That's why you need a weather radio. But on the AM dial, pay attention to 540 kHz and 1700 kHz. That's where a lot of clear channel powerhouse stations live, meant to be heard across regions. Also, tune just below the commercial band. Go down to around 500 kHz. In many parts of the world, you can hear aviation beacons and navigation stations, a steady repeating Morse code identifier. It's a haunting sound that says the world's infrastructure is still humming along, or not. Riddle answer time. 
Of course, it's the nighttime AM radio signal. You are now officially a ghost hunter of the airwaves. The real power of this isn't just gathering intel, it's psychological. In a blackout, silence is the enemy. It makes your brain invent horrors. But the crackle of a distant radio station, even if it's in a language you don't understand, is proof that the world is still out there. It's a lifeline to normalcy. It turns you from an isolated victim into a connected operator. So, do yourself a favor, go buy a $10 AM radio, put it in a Faraday cage or a metal ammo can with your other gear. Practice the long wire trick. Learn the dial. Because when the lights go out, you won't just be sitting in the dark wondering, you'll be listening. And the one who listens, holds all the cards.